Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, the United States has been encircling and intercepting China's high-tech industries, especially in fields such as the chip industry, artificial intelligence, electric vehicles, and 5G. These measures have triggered widespread discussions and doubts. Many people believe that the United States cannot stop China's development in these fields, but has caused huge losses to its own companies. However, not long ago, U.S. Secretary of Commerce Raimondo stated at the Reagan Defense Forum that the current goal of the United States is not to completely block China's technological development, but to slow down China's progress in order to continue to maintain its own leading position. So, why doesn't the United States want to see China's high-tech industries develop rapidly? The reason is simple. The United States realizes that the rise of China's high technology is an unstoppable trend. What the United States has to do now is to find ways to delay China's development so that it can maintain its dominant position for a longer period of time. The United States is well aware that once China's high technology rises, it will pose a serious threat to the United States' global status and economic interests. Therefore, the United States has introduced various bans and restrictions in an attempt to slow down China's rise by hindering China's development in certain fields. U.S. Containment Measures and China's Technological Rise The United States' containment measures mainly focus on restricting the supply of advanced chips. This is because advanced chips are the core of the high-tech industry and a key element in the development of China's high-tech industry. By restricting the supply of chips, the United States can influence China's development process in areas such as artificial intelligence, 5G and electric vehicles, thereby slowing down China's rise. However, it is actually meaningless to only block China's high-end industries without attacking mid- to low-end products. Because China has already surpassed the ceiling of the United States in terms of mid- to low-end products and cannot be stopped at all. Therefore, the United States containment measures mainly target advanced chips, hoping to maintain its market share and interests by delaying China's development speed. The United States containment measures include prohibiting Chinese companies from purchasing advanced American chip technology, restricting the supply of chip equipment, and restricting Sino-US scientific and technological exchanges. These measures have caused great trouble to Chinese enterprises, but they have also stimulated China's drive for independent innovation. The Chinese government and enterprises have increased investment and accelerated the pace of independent research and development and production of advanced chips. Through independent innovation and cooperative innovation, China is gradually catching up with the United States. How should China respond to the U.S. containment? Facing the containment of the United States, China needs to have a clear understanding and strategic planning. First, China must recognize the situation clearly, clarify the importance and urgency of the rise of high-tech industries, and enhance its sense of urgency and responsibility. Only by investing in the development of high-tech industries, with an attitude of never falling behind, can we win time and space. Secondly, China must adopt a diversified development model while strengthening domestic independent innovation and international cooperation. Only on the basis of independent innovation can China possess core technologies and core competitiveness. At the same time, 
China should also strengthen cooperation with other countries to jointly deal with the obstruction of the United States. Through international cooperation, China can obtain more resources and technical support and accelerate its own development process. In addition, China also needs to strengthen its own industrial chain layout and improve ecosystem construction. Only by well laying out the industrial chain and improving the construction of the ecosystem can we have enough depth to cope with various difficulties and risks. In short, facing the containment of the United States, China cannot be passively beaten, nor can it fall into the dilemma of passive defense. Only by taking the initiative and accelerating the pace of development can we remain invincible in the competition. In the current context of fierce global technological competition, technological competition between China and the United States is inevitable. The United States' containment and interception of China's high-tech industries is out of its own interests. However, China's high-tech rise has become a general trend. The United States' containment can only be a temporary resistance and cannot change the general trend of China's scientific and technological development. For China, in the face of the containment by the United States, China cannot respond passively, let alone be swayed by the containment. We should adopt a proactive attitude, increase investment, accelerate independent innovation, strengthen industry university research cooperation, and fully promote the rise of high-tech industries. At the same time, China should also strengthen international cooperation, seek more resources and technical support, and expand its own development space. As an individual, China should also actively participate in the rise of China's science and technology. Whether as students, engineers, entrepreneurs or investors, China should strengthen learning and update knowledge, seize the opportunities of scientific and technological development, and actively participate in technological innovation and industrial development. Only in this way can we continuously improve our competitiveness and contribute to the rise of China's science and technology. In short, the containment of the United States cannot stop the rise of China's high-tech industry. China should respond to difficulties and challenges with a positive attitude, increase independent innovation and international cooperation, and accelerate the development of high-tech industries. Only in this way can China win the initiative in scientific and technological competition and realize the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation.